first full week of the Road to 200 vlog. All right, so it's Monday morning, 10 a.m. Most of the way through this training session. All right, so obviously, for those of you following for a while, you'll know the style of training that I like to do. And this is pretty much it, all right? So we get the compound lifts. I love the power clean, technical, but it has so many crossovers. Once you combine it with the jumps, the med ball slams, you got explosiveness, you got rotation, all right? So done a bunch of work this morning. Played a little bit over the weekend, swing. Need some work, guys, all right? So we're gonna work on today, later today. We're gonna hit the studio and get back on those numbers, look at the technique itself, all right? But wanna keep you up to date on the training. It's a good way to get it done is relative to your own schedule. Hit the heavy lifts, hit the power lifts early in the week. Get your body in that phase and then kind of taper throughout the week relative to how you feel, all right? So if you are set to play on the weekend, obviously if Stalins is playing Thursday through Sunday, hit it on Monday, put yourself in a position to feel your best calm game day, all right? Whatever that means for you. So I'm gonna hit another round of this. We're gonna hit some deadlifts because you need to maintain that baseline strength and the body feels better when we're lifting, all right? So, a little bit more to do. I'm gonna head up and look at that one. Okay guys, we're back in the studio. It's Tuesday. Big changes were made on Monday, all right? So, went to the course, I put a couple of swings up, and basically, I was so far underneath for the driver, it just was not any fun at all, all right? We're talking big high blocks, so far offline, I can't even describe it, or just hitting that toey snap hook, all right? Either way, not good. So, just went after it, made some changes, and it looks pretty good guys all right so i came back in today I actually played this morning and one of the things we talked about was recovery i'm a little burned out there's not a lot in the tank at this very moment okay so i want to talk through today two things a little bit of super speed how i'm incorporating those protocols into what we're doing and also the actual changes that i'm making in the swing all right add to the fact that my numbers are down a little bit plenty of fatigue train twice Played last night, played this morning, straight back in today. Just kind of how I do things anyway. I've been sat down for a bunch. Trackman's throwing out some weird numbers. Uh, technology does that to you. The actual strike, I can kind of gauge, but it's not right on path and, and alignment, but whatever. We're gonna have a little look, talk through that, super speed and the swing. super speed for a while they're extremely effective they get the job done guys all right we should be using those protocols more often i love to match them into the stability training because your body should be able to stand up absorb and utilize all the forces that you're creating all right so lots of asymmetry the lunges the romanian deadlifts that kind of stuff lots of core work to me to allow you to build power build speed but also do it in the best way possible all right so I probably have three favorite movements I go to. Again, the protocols from Super Speed are awesome. But I'm a busy guy. I'm trying to fit it all in, all right? So I like just the standard swings, both directions. 
I like the step to swing, that kind of extra load like we do with the med ball, and then the kneeling swing as well. All right, once you take the ground out of it to a certain extent, you start to earn, learn and understand how your body moves, you can take a lot out of that. All right, so I want to get into those movements more next week. I want to give you some baselines, going to get some numbers, but we need to talk about the swing today, guys. I need to get this kind of first week in, understand where we're at, and also let you know about all the prizes and the giveaway that we got going on. Pretty. Fighting our way too, that's a personal best right there. Not on the swing speed, although almost 120. But 321 carry, 348 total. The path that ain't correct. I mean, you can see the ball flight, there's no movement on it. As I said, track man, don't like Tuesdays, man. It's not happy about something, but clearly we're not nine across. Uh, it's the alignment ain't there. That was a pretty straight shot. 179.1 ball speed, low spin. Went pretty deep. So guys, I want to talk mechanics just for a hot minute, all right? So you've probably been following for a little while, Instagram, etc. You've seen that high left side, almost one plane style swing. Now, I iron so good. From the start now, I hit driver so good as well, all right? We kind of lost our way, okay? So what happened for me, when I pushed those hands forwards, I really like the face angle. I like the strength it gave me and also the ease of how I could rotate, okay? Only thing being, it was a little bit of a manipulated rotation because I wasn't always creating the right kind of tension. Sometimes it was around the body, okay? So one thing that was really limiting was how high my hands can get in the back swing and the face angle as well, all right? Because when the face gets too strong, I was just backing up with the driver the whole time. I'll get back here, I'm trying to lift, I'm in this position, and like I said, high blocks, toe hooks, it's not been a lot of fun of late, all right? So kind of going a little bit more conventional, get the club standing up a little earlier, I'm becoming way better with my rotational capability. All right, that's the focus going forwards. I put up a couple of swings from the round this morning. You can see how the club's on a better plane. One of the things I've got to work on now is maximizing that rotation. So it's much more conventional and set up, letting the club work, work against that lead trail side, and then I've really got to get into a strong position at the top, okay? If we're gonna hit that 200 mile per hour ball speed, we've got to use the ground, we've got to fully rotate, everything's got to be really, really good, all right? So the super speed helps, over speed training, gets you into the movement pants, gets me feeling good, but now it's the case of getting comfortable down into the ball, all right? Because again, 
When I was with that driver swing, hands out here, there's a big movement off the ball and then back onto it. Basically, sometimes I hit some deep, deep balls like that, guys, right? I'm not saying that I won't go back to it, but far too often it was back, it was up and out early, strong base, club stuck underneath, toe hooks, big pushes. Not good, all right? So, again, what we're going to work on from going forwards, let that left side really work into the trail side for me, up to the top, and then it's down, lag it in, and then pop out of the ground, okay? So, I'm going to hit a few now. Like I say, I hit a really nice one down 18 this morning. That's that last drive that you saw. That was deep, all right? So, start line's better, flight's better. Just got to work on it, guys. Right? Got to get it where I want to. And like I said, no fatigue today, but we're going to see what we can get to. Okay, guys, quick Tuesday check-in. Thought that was going to be a bust. Body was not feeling up to it. But we got some records out there, right? There's some bests in there. A little rough, but iron club head speed was good. Uh, and so the longest drive record in here. All right, for me anyway. So we got to about 323 carry. 349.7 total so didn't break that 350 barrier how come i didn't carry on and try and push it through i got shit to do man all right so kind of busy didn't quite have it in there so body was tired sweet speed was down but by actually hitting the ball better obviously the ball's going further so definitely cool to see the immediate impact of the super speed because once you start to understand how the body wants to work with just a free-flowing weight, you can apply it to the swing pretty quick. So definitely more of that to come. Um, and that leads us on nicely to the actual giveaway itself. Uh, put it up on email, on the Instagram. You can now check it out on the webpage as well uh, for the Big Ten. You have until the 14th September to enter. You just got to be on a golf club program, whether that's the app or you bought one online. And First prize is a full set of super speed sticks and a swing speed monitor. Second prize, you can get a $100 voucher at Tourist Golf. And then three following prizes of one for year on the Golf What app, guys, right? So we're building this up. I'm going to make it happen. Long way to go, long way to go. But first week, some massive changes. Totally different ball flight. Hit it further than I've hit it before in here. So that's a good sign, guys, right? That's a good sign. I'm going to check back in on Friday. Uh, a lot of training between now and then, but before I post this video Friday night, we're going to have another check-in when I'm a little bit fresher, test out some more equipment, see where we're at, guys, all right? Keep doing the work. All right, guys, so something of an anti-climax to the week, actually, unfortunately. So, it's late on Friday, I was going to check back in on the swing, we're going to kind of get after it, see where we're at, but number one, time has run away from me, number two... A little bit of that stiff neck going on. Nothing really in terms of an injury, you know, and you probably just sit down a little bit too much, maybe don't warm up enough certain times, and then sleep upside your face. Just one of those. So, just gonna loosen out, get the body moving. But in terms of recapping over the week, we made a huge swing change. We got the super speed implemented in there and really started to show you the benefits of them. And again, can't recommend them highly enough. We hit a new best in terms of total distance on the track, man. So for a first full week, pretty happy. The swing changes are gonna allow me to be way more efficient. And the feeling that it's given me, although I haven't maxed out on speed as of yet, is definitely one that's gonna allow that to happen. All right, so loading up, creating more torque, creating more rotational force, as opposed to just kind of throwing myself at it. All right, so I need a little bit of that, but too much ain't gonna help all right so remember what we said about the giveaway i'll put it in the text here as well you got super speed up as top prize with a speed uh speed monitor you got the tourist shoot golf voucher three people for the app let's build this up all right so i had a bunch of people who already sign up with their baselines in the app instagram email whatever you need to do let us know where you're at let us know that you want that extra 10 percent, and then let's go to work all right so i'm going to loosen up with a couple of movements right now Get that neck feeling better. Probably play a little bit over the weekend. And then back on the grind fully when we get into next week, guys. All right. So whatever you're doing out there, golf strong. Make sure you're doing the work. Have a great weekend of golf. Sign up. Subscribe, guys. All right. Get involved. And let's change the game.